Hello and welcome to Delhi and Fountain. Delhi set up. On Monday, there are some things that need to be prepared for the week. First, turn on the ice cream freezer. Put the ice cream from the back freezer back into the ice cream freezer. Make sure they are put in their labeled places. Second, turn on and fill up the smoothie machine. Plug in the light in the back for both sides. Press the top left button. This turns on the machine. The labeled button on the bottom left controls the temperature. It has a snowflake on it. The options are ice, chill, and off. The labeled one on the right controls the rotator inside the machine. Turn the temperature to ice for both sides. Pour in the smoothie mix from Friday and label the sides for the customer to see. Turn on the rotator for both sides. When the mix looks slushy-like, it is ready to serve. If you need to add more mix, use the smoothie carton. Pour in the carton and then refill it twice with water. Add the water to the mix. Place the black rubber part on the metal cylinder. Take the lube and put it in the tip of the rubber piece and up to almost the top of the metal cylinder. Never put lube on the top inch part of the metal cylinder. Take the metal cylinder and push it into the hole inside the machine. Make sure it snaps into place. Do the same for both sides. Next. Take the rotator and make sure there are no nicks in the plastic blade. If there are, then replace them with new ones. Match up the top of the metal cylinder inside the machine and push it into place. Do this for both sides. Next, take the large rubber rings and place them in the grooves of the large white plastic cover. They match up. Do not put lube on these rings. Take the white plastic rings and put them on top of the rubber rings. The larger base goes on the bottom. Place the large white plastic cover on the machine. Put the metal prongs into the holes of the machine and make sure the crown is right side up. Take the small metal rods and screw them on. The long ones go on top, the shorter ones on the bottom. Tighten them so on the cover is secure, and then tighten the top rods and the bottom rods together. Take the white cylinders and put the loop on the black rubber rings on them, and also on the area between the rings. Next. Push the white cylinders up through the bottom of the holes like so, the rings on the bottom and the hole in the cylinder facing you. Next, take the small white cylinders and put lube on the black rings. Place them in the holes on the top of the cover. Then take the thin metal cylinder and put lube on the black rubber ring. Push it through the top of the white cover in the middle handles. There are holes all the way through. Put the metal handles in the hole that is in the top of the white cylinders. Lastly, snap on the red covers. Place the ice cream mixes in their respective sides. Vanilla on the right, all the other flavors on the left. Next, place the metal rods with the hole facing down into the hole in the bottom of the mixed container. Make sure the metal rods have a cover on top. Next, pull up the small white cylinders on both sides. If the mix starts to leak out of the machine, then it is ready to use. Put back the small white cylinders and clean up the machine. Make sure the metal catcher is in place below the ice cream dispenser. Turn the machine switch on and then press the auto button on both sides. 
Ice cream should be ready in 15 minutes. Turn on the ice cream freezer light. Make sure the freezer is also on. Take off the ice cream covers and put them underneath the counter where the backup straws are kept. Make sure all four are clean. Turn on the water in the small sink next to the ice cream fridge. Make sure the silver tube is in the hole and that the stand and ice cream utensils are in the small sink. Make sure the water does not overflow. Write down what flavors of ice cream are low. Give the list to the supervisor. Bring out a pot of warm water and a scoop. Put it in the heater. Set it to level 3. Next, drain the bubbles that have been boiled. Rinse them and put them in a pot with enough water to cover the bubbles. Add a scoop of fructose and mix it. Place in a pot near the hot water. Do not heat the bubbles. Put a wire scoop in the bubbles pot. Refill the bubble powder if needed. The bubble powder is in the labeled door beneath the counter. Make sure there is fructose in the syrup pot. Bring out two bread knives, one spread knife, and the red and yellow scoop. Use the red for the tuna and the yellow for the egg, and the spread knife for the crayon mayo. Cut the bread on the designated white cutting board with the designated bread knife. Cut off the ends. On average, a loaf can be cut into 10 slices. Put the bread into the bread display on trays with wax paper underneath. Cut six loaves, each two of each kind. Make sure to wear gloves. Make sure toothpicks, salt, pepper, oil, vinegar, mustard, Dijon mustard, and mayo are set up. Refill them if needed. Set up large cups, small plates, large plates, and paper bags. Fill three three-inch pans in the deli well with two buckets of ice. Refill the chips, toothpicks, and the to-go wrappings. Ask the supervisor for help if needed. Snap in the red caps on the soft-serve machine faucets. Turn the soft serve machine from standby to auto by pushing the buttons. Check the refill light. Add more mix if the light is flashing. Flip the rods inside of the top of the machine. Rinse the rods before replacing them. Make sure the hole in the side of the rod is in the soft serve niche. Make sure you are wearing gloves. Make sure there are bananas. Refill straws, spoons, and napkins. Refill the double scoop cups, single scoop cups, smoothie cups, all lids, paper bags, banana split boats, and medium cups. Put out all the toppings from the fountain fridge. Their places are labeled in the wooden holder. Put serving scoops in the caramel, cherries, and strawberries. We fill the gloves, waffle cones, cake cones, toppings, etc. Restock the door under the counter closest to the register with all of the paper goods. Make sure there is a bucket of ice with the lid and a scoop. We fill the smoothie flavors in the fountain fridge. Put sanitizer water in the utensil container with two small spatulas and a small knife. Refill the condensed milk. Check for snow ice in the ice cream freezer. Refill if needed. Ask the supervisor for help if needed. Find refills in the storeroom. If the product you are looking for is not there, make a list and give it to the supervisor. Bring out a green bucket of soap and water and a red bucket of sanitation water with one to two rags. Make sure there is money in the register. Make sure there is receipt paper in the register also. Make sure you have brought a pen. Deli Sandwich Proportions 
There are several different types of sandwiches. A deli sandwich is either a turkey or ham sandwich. A tuna sandwich has tuna. Vegetarian sandwiches have no meat. Customers can have cheese in this sandwich. Roast beef sandwiches have roast beef. A whole sandwich has two slices of bread and a half sandwich has one slice of bread, which is cut in half. Types of bread are wheat, white, and herb. Spreads are cran mayo, mustard, Dijon mustard, and mayonnaise. Meats are turkey, ham, roast beef, egg, and tuna. Cheeses are provolone, American cheese, Swiss, pepper jack, and Monterey jack. Extras are salt, pepper, oil, and vinegar. This is a whole sandwich. It consists of a choice of spread, three slices of turkey or ham, roast beef is four ounces, or a half inch of tuna or egg. There are two slices of cheese. Customers choose the veggies and the extras. This is a half sandwich. It consists of a choice of spread, two slices of turkey or ham, two ounces of roast beef, or a half inch of tuna or egg. There is one slice of cheese. The customer chooses the veggies and the extras. The easiest way to put on the vegetables is first tomatoes, then cucumbers, pickles, bell peppers, red onions, sprouts, and then lettuce. Put two tomatoes on a whole, one on a half. For cucumbers, pickles, bell peppers, and red onions, put four on a whole, two on a half. For sprouts and lettuce, put on as much as requested. These are used to give the sandwich height. How to make a sandwich. Ask if the customer would like their sandwich for here to go. To go goes on wax paper and for here goes on a plate. Ask what kind of bread they would like and if they would like a whole or half sandwich. If they would like a half, cut one slice of bread in half. Add their choice of spread. cheese, meat, vegetables, and extras. If they ordered a whole sandwich, cut it in half. Do not smash the sandwich. If the sandwich is to go, wrap it in the wax paper. Add toothpicks for each half of the sandwiches for both here and to-go sandwiches. Give the sandwich to the customer and send them to the cashier. If the order is to go, put the sandwich in a, and a, pep, put the sandwich in a paper bag. Prompt the customer for each step. Ask if they would like a combo. A combo is a sandwich with a small chip and a large fountain drink. Be knowledgeable of each ingredient and type of sandwich. If a customer wants two types of meat, extra meat or cheese, charge them for extra meat or cheese. Fountain ice cream proportions. A single scoop is put in a small cup or cone. It is one flavor and four ounces of ice cream. A double scoop is put into the double cup or a cone. A customer can have up to two flavors. It is eight ounces of ice cream. A cakey cone is for kids only. It is one flavor in a small cup or cone and is two ounces of ice cream. A sundae is put in a double ice cream cup. The customer can have up to two flavors of ice cream. It is 6 ounces of ice cream. The customer can have one syrup topping, either caramel, strawberry, or chocolate syrup. It also comes with whipped cream, nuts, and a cherry. Real fruit smoothies go in the 16-ounce clear cup. 
Put 8 ounces of fruit in the blender. This is one package of fruit. Add 8 ounces of apple juice and then blend it. Flavor smoothies go in the 16 ounce clear cup. Put 4 ounces of flavor mix in the blender. Add 1 scoop of ice. Blend. Banana splits go in the banana split boats. Split a banana in half from top to bottom. Put 3 scoops of 2 ounces of ice cream of the customer's choice in the split banana. The customer gets a choice of two toppings. They are chocolate, strawberries, or caramel. It also comes with whipped cream, then nuts, and a cherry. Soft serve ice cream can go in a single cup or cake cone only. No waffle cones. It is five ounces of soft serve ice cream. There is always vanilla and then a flavor of the wheat. Milkshakes are put in the medium Coke cup. Put in the milkshake cup eight ounces of vanilla soft serve, one and a half to two and a half scoops of ice cream, depending on the consistency of the ice cream, and three ounces of milk. Mix with the milkshake hand mixer on level 50. Vanilla banana milkshakes are put in the small Coke cup. Put in the milkshake cup one and a half scoops of ice cream, six slices of banana, using half of the banana, and three ounces of milk. Mix with the milkshake hand mixer on level 50. Acai bowl is put in the double ice cream cup. Put in six ounces of acai with six slices of bananas on top. This is half of the banana. On top of the bananas, put granola and then honey. Bubble drink goes in the 16 ounce clear cup. Put in the blender two cups of ice, two scoops of mix, four ounces of soft serve ice cream, one scoop of fructose, half a scoop of hot water, and blend it. Put one scoop of bubbles in the clear cup and then pour the drink into the clear cup. Small snow ice goes in the 6 ounce clear cup. Drizzle condensed milk inside the cup. Shave 3 ounces of snow ice and put into the cup. Drizzle the condensed milk in the snow ice and then put the customer's choice of one topping on top. Large snow ice goes in the double ice cream cup. Drizzle condensed milk inside the cup. Shave 6 ounces of snow ice and put it into the cup. Drizzle condensed milk on the snow ice and then put the customer's choice of two toppings on top. Always use the scale to measure the ice cream. Deli and fountain during your shift. Take temperatures, take temperatures, take temperatures, and take temperatures. Ask the question, would I eat here? Clean the area. Spot sweep the deli and dining area floor. Change the scoop and utensil water periodically. Keep the knives, ladles, and ice cream scoops clean. Make sure the ice cream sink is clean and running clean water. Clean the eating tables. Check and take out all of the trashes. Change the rags and water bucket every two hours. Change gloves and wash your hands regularly and every time you touch non-food items. Always lay the ice cream. Do the correct portions of the food. It is crucial to our success. Scrape off the sides of the ice cream tubs with the designated scooper. Always keep the deli hood, ice cream hood, bread display, and cone containers closed when not in use. This protects the food by keeping it cool, frozen, away from bugs, and the cones nice and crisp. Make sure to put away food that is sitting out. Refill everything. This includes the soft serve mix, 
Make sure to shake the mix before pouring it into the machine. Ice cream, straws, spoons, napkins, cups, bowls, plates, paper bags, toothpicks, paper wrapping, gloves, oil, vinegar, salt, pepper, deli food, bread, chips, snow ice, bubbles, hot water, bubble drink mix, the fructose, smoothie mix, ice, cones, waffle cones, and toppings. Alert the supervisor before things run out. Make sure to have good customer service. Pay attention. Acknowledge people. Do not ignore them. Let them know that you will get to them shortly. Pay attention to your money transactions. The faster you serve people, the more will come. If needed, ask the supervisor to help with customers. Closing Deli Put plates, paper bags, toothpicks, and large Coke cups in the door under the counter next to the register. Cover, date, and put away all food in the walk-in. Put away the bread first so the customers know that the area is closed. Put the salt, pepper, oil, and vinegar next to the snow ice machine. Empty the ice out of the pans that held the food. Put the pans and all utensils through the dishwasher except for the knife. Wash and sanitize those by hand. Put the deli cutting board through dishwasher. Put the floor mat in the dishwashing area. Wipe down the deli station. This includes the deli hood and the deli well. Clean out the water that has collected in the bottom of the deli fridge. Put three three-inch pans in the deli well. Put the deli cutting board back. Deli closing fountain. Wrap and date all ice cream toppings and put them in the fountain fridge. Wrap and date the bubbles and put them in the walk-in fridge. Wrap and date the fructose. Cover the condensed milk and put away the banana. Put the white ice cream covers on the ice cream. Turn off the ice cream freezer light. Make sure not to turn off the freezer. Make sure the cone containers and the bubble drink powder lids are shut. Rinse all of your dishes in the dishwasher sink. This includes the blenders, white ice cream racks, milkshake mix cups, utensil containers, bubble and bubble water pots, all the utensils, scoops, scoop stand, short metal stand. Place all the dishes in the square trays on the landing ready for the morning dishwasher. Make sure the dish room is as clean as you found it. Wipe down and sanitize the smoothie machine, milkshake machine, fountain and deli fridge door, the countertops, soft serve machine, snow ice machine, bread display, ice cream freezer, glasses from back to front, and the back wall of the soft serve machine, corners of the sink, drain, and the register. Flip the rods inside the top of the machine. Make sure to rinse the rods before replacing them. This time, make sure the hole in the side of the rod is not in the soft serve mix. You are to flip the rods upside down. Make sure you are wearing gloves. Take off the red caps and put them in sanitizer water. Turn the soft serve machine from auto to standby. Rinse off the soft serve machine ice cream catcher. 
Empty the trash and put in a new bag. Put away the bucket, put the rags in the designated area for dirty rags. Sweep and mop the floor. Remember to turn off the ice cream water faucet, let out all the water, and wipe it down. Refill the napkins, spoons, straws, ice cream cups, cones, etc. Count the money with your supervisor. Wipe down the smoothie machine. Make sure the catcher is cleaned out. You can take it off and rinse it in the sink. Turn the temperature button to show on both sides. Unplug the light on both sides. On Fridays, clean the soft serve machine one hour before closing. Time depends on the semester. No more selling of soft serve at this time. Clean the smoothie machine. Turn off the ice cream freezer. Cover all of the ice cream and put them in the walk-in freezer. Separate training will be done for the cleaning of the soft serve machine. To clean the smoothie machine, start with turning the temperature to off. Then empty both sides by pushing down the lever. Put the mix into large containers. Wrap date them, and put them into the walk-in for Monday. Turn the rotators off and then turn the machine off. Unplug the lights. To take off the plastic covers, push in the black button on the side of the cover while pulling the cover up and out. Take these to the sinks in the dishwasher area and wash them with soap and water. Sanitize them. Do not put them in the dishwasher. Dry them with a cloth towel. Take off the rotators and wash them the same as the plastic covers. Dry them also. Take off the clear rubber rings and wash them the same as the plastic covers. Put them back on while they are still wet in order to have suction. Put them back the way you found them. Put the rotators back the way you found them. Make sure the smoothie machine is wiped down. Put the plastic covers back and make sure that they click in with the black button. This is how the smoothie machine should look after you have cleaned it. Make sure the catcher is also clean. Thank you for watching this video.